What would happen if you took a shovel and just started digging? Surely you'd get somewhere, right? Sadly, no. In fact, humans have never even encountered anything deeper than the first layer of crust, which is about 40 miles deep underground. And I'm sure all you who were ready with their shovel don't want to hear that the next two layers run about 2,000 miles deeper. So yeah, it's safe to say we're not getting down there anytime soon. But this begs the question, what really is down there? And why are some people saying that the Earth's core could cause the end of humanity as we know it? Well, you're about to find out because we're going to take a deep dive into the potential dangers that lie in flames of Earth's red hot core and how it may spell out the end for us all. To comprehend the potential risk associated with the Earth's core, it's important we take a virtual journey to the core's inner sanctum, which lies way below those stubborn outer cores that we just talked about. Picture the Earth as a colossal layered structure akin to an onion. The core, our focus today, compromises predominantly iron and nickel, distinguishing itself through the outer core's molten state and the inner core solidity, a consequence of mind-boggling pressure. This dynamic interplay manifests the Earth's magnetic field, a vital shield safeguarding life on Earth from the harmful onslaught of solar radiation. This magnetic field is our planet's invisible guardian, deflecting the solar winds and cosmic rays that would otherwise wreak havoc on Earth. As we traverse the layers, we'll unveil the intricacies of this shield and examine whether it holds the potential to be a double-edged sword. Imagine standing at the entrance of a journey that descends into the Earth's depths, revealing secrets buried for millennia. The outer core, a ferrous sea of molten iron and nickel, churns and convex, generating electric currents. These electric currents, in turn, create a magnetic field through a process known as the dynamo effect. It's akin to witnessing the heartbeat of our planet, a rhythmic pulse echoing through the Earth's core. The inner core, a solid ball of iron and nickel under pressures exceeding millions of atmospheres, remains steadfast in its secrets. This stark duality between the outer and inner core births the protective magnetic cocoon enveloping Earth. However, as we delve into the complexities of this magnetic shield, we must take into account the potential ramifications of its fluctuations on our delicate existence. Earth's magnetic field, an unseen force that shapes our planet's destiny, is a guardian we often take for granted. Recent scientific observations, however, suggest a narrative of change. Graphs depicting the field's strength over the last century reveal a gradual decline, stirring speculation about an impending magnetic pole reversal. But what does a weakened magnetic field entail for our delicate existence? The magnetic pole reversal is not an instantaneous event, but rather a slow metamorphosis taking place over thousands of years. During this prolonged period, the protective shield weakens, allowing solar flares and cosmic rays greater access to our atmosphere. It's a cosmic ballet, a celestial dance between Earth and the cosmos, the implications of which we are only beginning to fathom. Imagine a scenario where the magnetic field, our silent guardian, takes a hiatus, a brief respite during a magnetic pole reversal. As the magnetic north and south swap places, the protective shield weakens. The consequences of this weakening are not immediately catastrophic, but they unfold over time. Solar winds, those charged particles emitted by the sun, can now infiltrate our atmosphere more freely creating a cosmic light show in the form of auroras. While the spectacle of auroras may captivate our senses, it also serves as a visual reminder of the intricate interplay between our planet and the cosmos. However, as we marvel at these celestial displays, we must also ponder the potential risks associated with an Earth temporarily exposed to heightened solar radiation. 
Before we head to our next segment, I just wanted to thank you all for the support. It means a lot to us, and if you are truly enjoying the content, let us know by commenting down below and leaving a like on this video. Okay, back to the good stuff. As we contemplate the prospect of a magnetic pull reversal, it's essential to dispel fears and focus on the science behind this mesmerizing phenomenon. A magnetic pull reversal is not an abrupt event, rather, it unfolds over thousands of years. During this period, however, the weakening magnetic field becomes susceptible to solar flares and coronal mass ejections, potentially amplifying their impact on our planet. The magnetic pole reversal is, in essence, a celestial choreography. It doesn't involve the Earth physically flipping like a coin. Instead, it's a gradual realignment of the magnetic poles. Yes, that means while you sit here and watch this video, this process may be taking its course. However, during this intricate dance, the protective shield weakens, allowing more solar and cosmic radiation to reach our atmosphere. Now, you might be wondering, about the historical imprints of magnetic pull reversals. The geological record holds clues, with ancient rocks serving as time capsules preserving the Earth's magnetic history. Scientists armed with magnetic data extracted from these rocks piece together the puzzle of our planet's magnetic field fluctuations over millennia. The reassuring aspect is that life on Earth has weathered numerous magnetic pull reversals throughout its existence. It's a testament to the resilience of life and the adaptability of species. Yet, as we look into the nuances of this cosmic dance, we must also acknowledge the potential disruptions such events could pose to our modern, interconnected world. A magnetic field in flux brings forth another ominous specter, geomagnetic storms. These tempests, born from the sun's temperamental outbursts, pose tangible threats to our technological infrastructure. The 1859 Carrington event, a historical benchmark, provides a glimpse into the potential chaos a powerful geomagnetic storm can unleash. The Carrington event, named after the British astronomer Richard Carrington, unfolded in 1859 when a massive solar flare erupted on the sun's surface. This colossal outburst unleashed a barrage of charged particles towards Earth, triggering an unprecedented geomagnetic storm. The impact was felt globally, with telegraph systems failing and auroras gracing the skies as far south as the Caribbean. As we reflect on the Carrington event, it becomes a cautionary tale, an echo from the past urging us to comprehend the potential repercussions of a similar cosmic onslaught in our technology-dependent era. The interconnected web of satellites, power grids, and communication systems that define our modern world is susceptible to the whims of space weather. In the face of these vulnerabilities, scientists and engineers work tirelessly to develop strategies to mitigate the impact of future geomagnetic storms. The Carrington event is a reminder that while Earth's magnetic field shields us from the majority of solar and cosmic radiation, there are moments when this shield can be tested. Our preparedness, both in terms of understanding space weather and implementing resilient technologies, becomes a paramount as we venture deeper into the cosmic frontier. Venturing further into the speculative realms of Earth's future, we encounter a concept that flirts with existential consequences, core cooling. Scientists hypothesize that over geological epochs, the Earth's core could gradually cool, potentially disrupting the dynamic processes that birth our protective magnetic field. The Earth's core is a cauldron of unimaginable heat. With temperatures soaring to thousands of degrees Celsius, this intense heat, generated by the decay of radioactive elements and the residual heat from the Earth's formation, is what sustains the dynamic movements within the core. However, the question arises, what if this heat were to dissipate over time, leading to gradual cooling of the core? To delve into the potential consequences of core cooling, we must first fathom the intricate dance of heat within the Earth's depths. The core's heat drives the convection current in the molten outer core, creating the essential ingredients for the dynamo effect. 
the very mechanism that begets our protective magnetic field. If this heat were to diminish, the dynamic equilibrium sustaining the magnetic field might be disrupted. While core cooling is not an imminent threat on the timescales relevant to human existence, contemplating its consequences provides insights into the fragility of the cosmic balance we often take for granted. It prompts us to reflect on the interconnectedness of Earth's internal processes and the delicate harmony that sustains our magnetic shield against cosmic bombardments. In the face of these potential cataclysmic scenarios, the question that naturally arises is whether we, as inhabitants of this fragile blue dot, can exert any influence on the unfolding events. While we may lack the means to command the forces deep within in our planet, the key lies in our ability to observe, understand, and adapt. The exploration of Earth's core is not merely a theoretical exercise, it is a testament to our quest for knowledge and innate desire to comprehend the forces that shape our world. Scientists armed with cutting-edge technologies and an insatiable curiosity engage in the meticulous observation of Earth's core dynamics. Seismology, the study of seismic waves, provides a window into the depths of our planet, allowing researchers to unravel the mysteries concealed behind miles of rock and molten metal. Imagine the vastness of the undertaking, the collective efforts of scientists worldwide aimed at monitoring and deciphering the subtle shifts within the Earth's core. Satellites in orbit offer a cosmic vantage point, allowing scientists to observe the dynamic interplay between the solid inner core and the churning outer core. It's a symphony of data, a cacophony of information that, when pieced together, unveils the intricate dance within our planet. Our ability to monitor and understand the Earth's core is not merely an academic pursuit. It's a practical endeavor with profound implications for our survival in an ever-changing world. By unraveling the secrets of the Earth's core, we gain insights into the potential shifts in our magnetic field the timing of magnetic pole reversals, and the cosmic hazards that may accompany such transitions. Yet the quest doesn't end with observation alone. Our understanding of Earth's core dynamics equips us with the knowledge to anticipate potential threats and devise strategies for mitigating their impact. It prompts us to contemplate the development of technologies resilient to the vagaries of space weather, ensuring that our interconnected global society can weather the cosmic storms that may come our way. In this age of unprecedented connectivity, where our reliance on technology is unlike ever before, the stakes are high. Delving deeper into the cosmic unknown, the pursuit of knowledge becomes a shield in itself, a shield against the uncertainties that the cosmic dance of our planet may unfold. It's a reminder that armed with understanding and preparedness, we navigate the cosmic seas with resilience and adaptability. With all that said, let's reaffirm that the Earth's core, with all its mysteries and potential risks, is a natural and dynamic phenomenon. While the idea of a ticking time bomb may evoke apprehension, our evolving understanding and ongoing scientific endeavors are making sure that we'll be prepared when the time comes. But hold on there. Just imagine for a second that we weren't so prepared. What do you think that would look like? Would there be houses, cars, and animals flying everywhere? Would anyone even survive? Well, theoretically, if we were caught off guard by a significant geomagnetic storm, it could be like a techno roller coaster without seatbelts. Picture satellites going haywire, GPS acting like a cosmic compass on a caffeine high, and power grids playing hide and seek with electricity. It's not an apocalyptic scene, but things might get a bit, well, interesting. Communication disruptions could be like cosmic whispers turning into static, and navigating our tech-driven world might resemble trying to find your way in the dark without a flashlight. That said, it's essential to remember that even though scientists are on the case, working on cosmic weather forecasts and developing resilient technologies, it doesn't mean we're all out of the woods quite yet. In fact, far from it. It's all up to humanity's ability to adapt and innovate for times like these. 
The key is staying curious, informed, and ready for whatever cosmic surprises might come our way.